Two wins away. That's all that separates the Michigan Panthers and the championship. The first challenge is tonight. And get your baskets ready. It's strawberry season and Armada is helping you celebrate in a big way. We are live from the first ever Berry Bliss celebration. What you need to know of the name Berry Bliss. And here comes the rain again. Everything is already soaked, but Mother Nature isn't taking a break just yet. What parts of the weekend will be a total washout? Live from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News at 6 a.m. starts now. Good morning at 6 o'clock. I'm Priya Mann. And I'm Nick Monticelli. Thank you so much for joining us for Local 4 News here on your Saturday morning. It's been an interesting weather pattern in the past couple of days, hasn't it? It really has. I did enjoy the rain yep. yesterday. That was a nice relief. But, Brandon, we're talking about more rain on the way for the weekend. How's Saturday shaping up? Just a little bit of wet weather out there. Most of it will be peeling out, moving out, and we'll get a decent day. It's more of a Sunday storm development that we're watching. But temperatures out there right now are low to middle 60s, looking pretty good. We see visibility that's down to a half a mile in Monroe County. Down River, we're less than a mile. Flint, Howell, we're seeing some visibility issues thanks to these stubborn clouds. And on uh, exact track 40 radar. We can see just a little bit of this wet weather through parts of Macomb County. Just a couple of streets out there that are getting a little wet this morning. Most of the area is dry and you can see the source of this. Unlike normal where weather is west to east, this is coming east to west, but this system is slowly pulling out of the area. So we will get back into a little bit of sunshine through the late morning and into the afternoon and temps will take off middle 70s at noon, 83, which will feel a little more like 85 with added humidity tracking Sunday storm chances guys coming up. All right, Brandon, thank you. A shootout in a residential area in Livonia leaves the neighborhood confused and concerned. Our Mar McDonald is at the Livonia Police Headquarters with how this all started. Smack dab in the middle of the day. Now, Livonia Police got there quickly, but neighbors rolled on it all. Before this neighbor turned his phone to record, he'd already heard three gunshots. Listen closely. Then another shot. It's all coming from across the street. You see that white pickup truck trying to back out? There's a black VW right behind it trying to do the same. Now, watch as the real shooting starts. You see the one man running and shooting. Neighbors say he lives in the home. His next door neighbor in green is also out with his weapon raised. As the white truck and black VW attempt to run, neighbors capturing the moment. Another one of those who showed up at the house tried to run and fell out of this Jeep. Neighbors tell us Livonia police were on the scene in 90 seconds and spent hours in the home where the original gunman came running out of. What happened here? The initial story being told is the people in the white truck and black VW came to the home as part of an ongoing child custody dispute. The child's father lives in the home. The mother and her friends were in the vehicles which arrived at the house. Neighbors like Carly McMillan came home just after the shooting stopped. As we were coming home, we saw a um, one of the trucks at the chill box on the corner surrounded by cops. We thought, okay, maybe that was what was happening. And then when we came down the street, we saw I don't know, maybe like a half dozen cop cars, uh, canine units, and then um, just a whole bunch of police activity. At a loss to understand what was happening, another neighbor filled her in. My neighbor next door, she was, you know, had told me that there was a shootout, and it, it kind of seemed very surreal because this is a very nice neighborhood. Police telling us they have multiple people in custody at this hour. Charges are coming. We're in Livonia. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. All right, thank you, Mara. A 17 year old girl is recovering after being hit by a stray bullet that came into her home. It happened on Waybosh Street near Puritan and Linwood on Detroit's west side. Police say someone fired shots outside the home and that the victim was not the target. She remains in serious condition at the hospital. So far, no arrests have been made. Well, her plaza looks a little different this morning. Yeah, the city unveiled a brand new statue of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. yesterday in honor of the 60th anniversary of Detroit's Walk for Freedom. 
The statue depicts Dr. King delivering his famous I Have a Dream speech, which was famously delivered here in Detroit before the civil rights icon spoke in Washington, D.C. I have a dream that one day, right down in Georgia and Mississippi and Alabama, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to live together as brothers. Zora, there is a Cast Tech student who was delivering a portion of that speech during the statue unveil yesterday. Thousands are expected to gather in Detroit this morning for the 60th anniversary of that walk in celebration of freedom. If you'd like to join in, step off is at 10 o'clock from the corner of Woodward and Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. That statue is beautiful. I can't wait to see it up close yeah, out I know, there. I know. Wow. Well, it is a jam packed weekend as Blake's Farms is holding a day all about strawberries yeah yeah we are talking about the very bliss celebration yeah, this is the first time that blake's farms is putting on this event megan woods is live in armada there megan can we put our order in now yes. or later how's this work later okay i already put in my order but because you guys are in the studio you're gonna have to wait a little bit but okay. i like what you did there priya with the jam-packed weekend i like that a play on words so yes this is their very first time having this event but they've always had strawberries i'm here with jacqueline from blake's and first off what is the inspiration behind this event well a lot of families have made it a tradition to come to blake's and come strawberry picking every june so we decided to make an event invite everyone out and have a party celebrating strawberries and so what can people expect at this party for strawberries? A weekend jam-packed full of strawberries. We have live entertainment. We have activities for the kids. We have um, hard cider on tap too. So there's a little bit for everyone. Yeah, so you have the fresh strawberries and strawberry everything. So yes. what are some of these goodies? So we have uh, strawberry flavored donuts, which you can only get here in June on the farm. We have our fudge, homemade fudge. We also have strawberry puff parfaits and a pink champagne cupcake, which is a white cake with buttercream frosting. So there's a little bit of everything. What is this? This that is our, so good. That's our strawberry slushy. Um, it is delightful. Let's put that to the test, Let's do it. Jacqueline. Ooh. <laughs> It's like two different flavors. It starts, oh yeah. Mmm. It kind of tastes like a strawberry lemonade. Yes. Okay. Yes. This is really good. Okay. But it's not just strawberries. You also have berries, cherries. Yes. So we are a fully operational farm. So people can come here and pick produce on the farm. So we are also doing that all weekend long. You come out to the orchard, pick strawberries. We have 27 acres of strawberries across our three locations. Um, so come on out and enjoy the farm. So what's your favorite part about, you know, this event or just June, you know, Blake's in June. Yeah. It's a wonderful time to come with friends and family and make memories from you know, hanging out in our Funland area to picking in the orchard. There really is activities that you will create memories forever. Yeah, and it's not restricted to the fall. It's because not. people love coming out no. here in the fall, but no. there's something to do here in the summer. This festival starts at 10 o'clock. Tickets are $15 and we'll put some of that information on clickondetroit.com. Back to you guys. You know, Megan, we've been working together a long time, and I always know when you have a pause after <laughs> you try something, you're going to really like it. <laughs> because I have to think, I have to really let it, you know, <laughs> sit and, and figure out, oh, my God, this is really good. We are just so jealous sushi. watching you enjoy that. All right, you have a blast at Berry Bliss. We'll check in with you later, Megan. Well, the Michigan Panthers of the United States Football League are just two wins away from winning the championship. Right, the team begins its playoff run against the Pittsburgh Maulers in Canton, Ohio tonight. The Panthers finished the regular season with a 4-6 and six record, tied for the second worst of the league, but the league only has eight teams, so it's enough to make the four-team playoff. Here's what defensive end Breland Speaks says needs to happen for them to get the job done tonight. Just probably making sure we start early, uh, start fast early, uh, we get things rolling. Uh, in that first half so that uh, we could feel pretty pretty good about ourselves going into the to second half. So I'm actually headed to Canton, Ohio for that game after this show. I'll be live from the stadium tonight at 6 o'clock and 11 o'clock. Kickoff is at 8. You can watch the game right here on Local 4.
And another event happening this weekend is the Detroit Symphony Orchestra's Black Panther concert. The DSO will perform the Oscar winning score of the Marvel's Black Panther movie while the film plays behind them on a big screen. The concert is going all weekend, but tickets are only available for tomorrow at this time. Curtains open for Sunday show at 3.30 and you can get your tickets for the concert on DSO.org. That is going to be a great event. It's it, it, I've been to a couple of events like uh -huh. that. It, it, is so cool. Like where they have the movie playing behind right, it? Right, yeah. Really? It's really neat. Oh, yeah. and just Black Panther, like Wakanda forever? Oh, I know. Love so it. good. So much more here to come on Local 4 News, but let's check in with Brandon because the weekend has been interesting. Uh -huh. I'm sure the seven day forecast has got a lot in there too, Brandon. <laughs> We've got some summer heat. We've got some summer storms. We've got a little bit of everything. 60s, 70s, 80s. It's going to be a warm weekend when we will see the storms. We'll see that coming next. It's Detroit's night to shine. Don't miss the best fireworks show in America and your chance to choose the next Go For It singer. Watch the Ford Fireworks Monday at 8 p.m. on Local 4. Expect more. Brought to you by Gardner White Furniture and Southeast Michigan Ford Dealers and Triumph Church.